folks. I'm just going to do a demo about how to sharpen a Tusker two blade broadhead uh, with a double bevel. I'll do another video on how to make a single bevel grind out of those same broadheads. Um, this is a Concord 190 grain. Um, the factory grind is not too bad if you want to make a double bevel. Uh, this is a glue on, but I've put a 125 grain insert into it and a couple of balls of lead shot. We'll see how much she weighs. Alright, 319 grains, so we will grind it up a bit and then see how much weight it loses. Alright, this is just a tip of an arrow. Uh, it's Better when it's short because it doesn't get in the way, but you can use any length you like. I don't like to use good arrows, obviously crushing it in the vise is not a good idea if you're going to be wanting to shoot them later. <coughs> Grab a long file, like a nice big bastard file that's going to take a lot of meat off in a short amount of time. <clears throat> now I think the um, the factory bevel is, the angle is quite decent so I usually just stick with that. Um, seems to do a good job. Um, you can request these heads I believe if you order straight from the factory with no grind at all so you can come up with your own angles. Probably better to do that if you're going to be making um, single bevel heads. Alright, put a couple of passes down following the angle of the, the or the bevel that's already been cut and then go to work. I usually like to go sideways because it seems to take the most meat off for some reason. When, it, when it's biting, you can feel when you're really taking a lot of meat off quickly. I don't know if you can see, but there's a whole heap of shavings coming off already. And these are pretty hard broadheads too. Alright, it's about 30 or 40 passes, I don't know. They move to the other side. Probably not the safest way to do it. All right. Take it out of the vise, turn it over. Do 30 or 40 strokes on the other side. You don't have to be hugely precise, but it does pay to stay on the same angle, both sides. But because you can take so much meat off, it's easy to correct any mistakes.
Now, once you get to this other side, once you get to the other side, you can start to feel when the two edges meet. It's a bit of a burr, which is like a rough lip on the underside. Once you start getting that, slow down. Because that's when you know you're about to get it real sharp. Alright, go to the other side now. That's 20 strokes. That's another 20 or so. Got a burr underneath. Alright. Uh, I usually flatten off the tip a bit as well. sure if this is a genuine chisel point but just flattening off the tip seems to work quite nicely this makes the point more durable all right so we've got a burr essentially what I do then is just go by hand and do two or three strokes on each side very lightly still following the same angle you don't want to be taking a huge amount of meat off you just want to be cutting that burr off that you created so you're going to be revealing a very sharp point that's hiding underneath that burr so one two three over to the other side one two, three, flip it over, one, two, three, one, two, three, one more pass on three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, I go to two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two. Go to one. Now I'm being extremely light with the pressure. Um, barely putting any more pressure than just the weight of the file itself. <clears throat> it's not perfect, I just noticed that I missed a bit on the, the back end down here, but that's right. Um, that's ready to hunt with. I'll show you in a sec if I can that it will shave me, shave my arms and legs. An optional finishing procedure is to just get a stone and do the same thing. Instead of going down with the cutting edge, come across against the cutting edge. Sticking with the original angle.
it takes bugger all meat off, but it just polishes polishes the edge right up. Yeah, I can feel that that's definitely ready to hunt with.